warm greetings welcome for online video session software engineering canara engineering college myself jagdish i and from computer science department now we cover module 2 chapter 2 modeling as a design techniques this video session number 4 from the module 2 and topics covered here is three model and relationship among the models three models here each model describe a system from its own view point as how human being have a different view for each different view solution for each problem the same way here we have three models have a different view on its own mo uh, model for the given problem each model applies during all stages of development and acquires a detail as a development progresses a complete description of a system requires models from all three viewpoints these three models are separated part of the description of a complete system but are all cross linked we'll see what are the three models one is class model state model and interaction model we have come across all these three models in the last there is in the first chapter of module 1 but in the brief here also we study in detail of all the three models class model for the object in the system and their relationship class models are used to have a relationship between the object in the system so goal of the class model in constructing a class model is to capture the concepts from real world that are important to an application to capture those concepts from the real world that are important of an application it describes the static structure of the object in a system and their relationship it represents the data as aspects of the system it describes the static data structure of the object and their relationship to one another so here we come across the that is state model the class model class diagram or class model of the data structure of a object it describes the structure of the object and it defines the context for a software development context is nothing but idea before developing of a any of the software the class diagram roles a important role for the development of a product a class diagram is a graph whose nodes are classes and whose arcs are relationship among classes we'll come across a lot of diagrams are there in the chapter 3 so how to write the class diagram and here nodes are identified as a class diagram and classes there is a nodes are identified as a classes and arcs are relationship among the classes it expresses the class model there is nodes and the arcs represents or express the class model generalization lets classes share a structure and a behavior and associations relate to the classes so here the relationship the generalization is nothing but the link between from one class to another classes how it shares our behaviors of the classes classes defines the attributes values carried by each object and the operations that each object performs or undergoes fundamental model because it is a necessary that is a class model or class model we call as a fundamental model because it is a necessary to describe what is changing or transforming before describing when or how it changes alternatively it provides a idea for the state and interaction model that is nothing but it gives a idea for the next models for the construction of a system 
changes and interactions are meaningly meaningless unless there is something to be changed or with which to interact objects are the units into which the world is divided so here we come across modeling is an engineering problem class model should contains the terms familiar to engineer so in modeling a problems terms from the business that is modeling a user interfaces from for an application analyzing a model as well as designing a model in a class model is a important that is we should contain a computer constructs unless application being model is inherently a computer problem such as compiler or any operating system design model describes how to solve a problem and may contain a computer constructs so next model is a state model is a life history of the object life is life history of any object it represents the behavioral as well as how to control the aspect of the system so it describes the aspect of an object the change over a time and the sequence of the operation that states the state model so captures a control that is the aspect of a system that describes the sequence of operation that occurs that what we said in the last slide the state diagram specify and implements the control state diagram is a graph what we said in the class diagram it is also graph whose nodes are the states and arcs are the transition and between the states caused by the event state diagram expresses the state model each state diagram shows the state and event sequences permitted in a system for one class of the object so last model is a interaction model interaction model is uh, describe how the object in the system cooperate to achieve the results it represents the collaboration of the individual object in a interaction diagram or interaction model the state and interaction model describes different aspects of behavior and the both behavior need to be described fully starts with use cases that are then elaborated with a sequences and activity diagram in the interaction diagram it starts with use cases what we have seen the use cases of the mental health patient management system where we use as actor as well as eclipse for the description of the events and is then elaborated with a sequence diagram and activity diagram the sequence diagram and activity diagram one activity diagram we have seen in the that is uh, what context diagram what we have seen for insulin pump control system the same way they way we have constructed an activity diagram for the insulin pump control system so sequence diagram will come across in the next coming slides use cases sequence diagram and activity diagram are documented the interaction model a use cases focuses on the functionality of the system what we have seen in the um, mental health patient management system that we have used as a actors as well as uh, that is events uh, eclipse is used for events a sequence diagram shows the object that interact and the time sequence of that interaction at what time what event has to be occurred we have seen we will see in the sequences diagram an activity diagram elaborates the important processing steps so you in the context diagram it is a just a idea of a uh, system whereas activity diagram is a process of a system so they shows the flow of control among the processing steps of the computation the different models are not completely independent they are all dependent one to one different models have limited and explicit interconnections that is each model contains the references to the other model class model attaches the operation to the classes while state and the interaction models elaborate the operations so that is what we can see in the class model state model as well as interaction model each of these three models evolve during the development of a system first 
construct a model of an application without regard for eventually implementation then the designer had a solution to the model implementers code the application and find the solution for the construction the world model has two dimension view of a system and the stages of a development so before developing any of the system it has a two dimensions uh, one is view of a system and a stages of a development so view of a system is nothing but the different types of models one is class model second one is a state model and third one is an interaction model whereas the stages of development is analysis design and implementation the meaning is generally clear from the context the next topic is comes uh, uh, comes around relationship among the models how the relationship among these three models we'll see here each model describes a aspect of the system as well as contains a references to the other model that the class model describe the data structure on which state and interaction models operates the operation in the class model corresponds to events and the actions the state model describes the control structure of the object the interaction focuses on the exchanges between the objects and the holistic overview of the operation of the system so this is what the having the that is on a state model describe the control structure of the object so what are the there is the structure that flows in between the model is we see in the state model and how it is exchanges the information between the one uh, step to the other step we see in the interaction model so here uh, we come across the uh, end of the video session 4 and we completed chapter 2 uh, in the model 2 so in the next class we go for the chapter 3 uh, in the next video session if you have any doubt you can ask in the online session classes thank you thank you all